morning everyone. Hello. We are live, we are live today from Hobbycraft HQ. Um, I'm with Carol from Sugar and Crumbs, so welcome. We are both live on our Hobbycraft account and also the Sugar and Crumbs account too. So hello both to everyone's fans. So welcome Carol, <laughs> what are we going to be doing today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to wing it as yeah. usual. <laughs> right, so what we're doing today is we brought along Nifty Nozzles, the genuine Russian piping tips, and I'm going to show you how to use them. Now it's a small demo today, so for you hobby crafters, you're used to a smaller demo, but my guys are used to a two hour session. They're going to be so shocked, they're going to get off early and they're not going to know what to do with themselves. <laughs> so um, just so that we, our guys know what we're doing, um, Gemma is going to answer all the questions for the Hobbycraft yes. feed. Okay, so be. you guys, we will answer when we're in the car on the way home because Laura's working today, so I'll make sure she continues to work in the car answering all the questions. Is that fair? Yes, that's, that's perfect. Fair, so Hobbycraft fans, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and we will answer them while we're live today. And then all the Sugar and Crumbs fans will answer them later on this afternoon. Absolutely. And then Maria and um, Laura are having great fun in the room here today. It's very close in the room, isn't it, Gemma? <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we've got a gorgeous looking man in the room called Tom. So we're all very lucky. Aren't we, Tom? You can say hello. Let's go share these guys. <laughs> So we're going to use the Russian piping tips. I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, bag a nozzle up. I know that sounds really crazy, but a lot of people don't know. So we're going to use um, the tips that Hobbycraft sell, and we're going to cut two-tone this one, which is the um, Posy. Now, I'm not sure if there's any close-ups here. Maria is on camera as well, but the Posy is one of the extra large nozzles. So uh, when you're cutting your bags, please make sure that you cut your bag for your nozzle so that the tip of your nozzle is just popping out the bag. So do we have a close-up camera for you, Gary? Yes. So, so the one that Maria's in the way of, blocking <laughs> the hobby craft patterns. So, so just make sure, is that on camera there, Tom? Yep. So just make sure that the bag is in level with the tip. Okay, my guys know this already, but you do need to have it there because you're going to put a lot of buttercream in here. And if you cut it halfway, there's a very big chance the nozzle will pop out. Fine. So we're going to two-tone this, Gemma. This is so easy. Now you'll see that we have a dome cake over there and I've brought a slightly different shape and it's a rough coated cake, yeah. Gemma. The reason this is, is so that anybody can decorate. Okay. You do not have to have this smooth. You don't need to be making it looking beautiful. So anybody That's who can't, good to know. absolutely. <laughs> so anybody who can't crumb coat a cake, they don't need to worry when you're using these nozzles oh, because okay. it's just Price not necessary. Absolutely. absolutely. Fantastic. Hello to everyone tuning in. We've got Steph, we've got Nikki, we've got Paula. Hello and welcome. So I don't know how many we've got on our team, but hello everybody, and we'll come back and say our hellos afterwards. But hello hobby crafters, thank you for joining us. So you'll see, as I did at great speed there, because we're talking to Gemma, <laughs> I forgot to tell you that, and I'll just do it again. I have two-toned a bag. I'm gonna do it again because I was I was that busy. Away. Away. <laughs> so to two-tone a bag, it doesn't matter which nozzle you have, we're using some Wilton piping tips. Yeah. So when whenever you're two-toning, you get your colour, your outside colour, you spread it into your bag and you spread it so it's on the outside, okay? If you're not sure, do you know what? Do a cheat way. You can put the colour in, you can do that, yeah? Yeah. And you can open it back up again and just open it right, peel it away. Oh, that's a great so you could do it that way, so it's easy really. But I'm just going to put a bit more green in here. When I do my leaves, I like them to have a little bit of colour running through the centre. So I'm just going to put a little bit more green on the outside. So if you do see a mystery blue arm with a jumper on, okay, <laughs> hobby crafters, if you do see that, <laughs> this little blue jumper arm, <laughs> this is our young lady called Maria who works alongside us, who does videos as well. And uh, sometimes she forgets herself and gets really close up and in the way. Gets very so, excited about the action. Yeah. <laughs> so we just give her a nudge. So if you see the strange arm suddenly go out of the way, it is Maria. So I'm just gonna have some more pink there. So I'm going to drop the pink into the middle, 
of this nozzle. So there we go. And I think we're ready to go. Fantastic. So everything we're using today is sold in Hobbycraft. Gemma's making a great assistant. <laughs> and I will tell you, in my kitchen at home at Sugar and Crumbs, it is hot, but my God, it's hot it's in here. It's very warm at Holy Cross HQ today. It's hot. The sun shining in beautiful Bournemouth. Yeah. We have got a question from Layla asking about the consistency of the icing. Do you have any tips of what consistency it should be? Because you okay. troubles. Yeah, well, the, the consistency of the buttercream is, okay, it's a big bone of contention, this. Yeah. The nicest way to use the Russian pine thin tips is to use it with Swiss meringue buttercream. Okay. That is the nicest way, but us Brits don't really make that very much. We're buttercream fans. So your, your consistency has to be medium soft. I hear people all the time, Gemma, put it in the fridge, firm it up, make it really soft, uh, make it really hard. Yeah. Don't. If you have to squeeze like that, it's too firm. Okay. It should really just flow out. So it should just flow out. Really nice and easy. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, are you able to see everything, girls? Yeah. yeah just okay. about. Is our audience with us as well? Absolutely. Good. And is there any more questions? Um, no more questions. Lots of people saying hello. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Kerry. Hello, Libby. Thank you all for tuning in today. Yeah. So I'm just going to give our cake a little another coat of crumb coat because some of my guys saw that I was posting on our page last night that I'd crumb coated this and how, you know, some people did comment on how rough it was, <laughs> but it doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be neat. But the one thing you must do when you're using your nifty nozzles is have a wet coat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little thin coating of green and the reason it needs to be wet is so, am I in your camera there, Tom? Am I yeah, moved out, not moved out of angle or anything? Just, just shout out. We're going to get this man to speak in here, guys. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll Tom, Tom is going to have to talk to us through the camera because I don't know where he is. <laughs> so, and I'm sure Laura will shout out as well if we go off camera. Yeah. So for the nozzles to stick, it, you can't put it on a dry cake. You do need some wetness. So whether it's Swiss meringue or whether it's buttercream, um, you do need to have a little thin yeah. wet coat. So we're just going to put this on. I'm hoping that I'm going to get this deck of coat, uh, cake decorated in 15, 20 minutes, just to show you how easy it is. If anybody wondering what the cake is, this is um, a, an eight inch round and there's three layers. And then there's, we've made a dome cake on the top by using um, a ball pan, but you can use a Pyrex bowl. So if you've got a round Pyrex bowl, you can use one of those as well. Yeah, you see, everybody has a pirate's ball, yes. don't they? The only thing is, it is round. You do need to stand it in one of your cake tins for it to be even. Oh, that's a really interesting Because if you put the yeah. ball in, in your oven like yeah. that, it's going to wobble. Yeah. So get one of your cake tins and then just sit it on Tins top of the cake tin. Give it a sturdy base. Yeah. yeah. And make sure the base of the cake tin is out. Otherwise, um, it'll all just get yes. hot in the centre. So we're just going to rough coat this. You'll be able to do one of these, Gemma. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Okay. I'll have to give it a go. Do you do evening. cakes, Gemma? Not really. My mum's a brilliant baker. Is she? I'm afraid it hasn't gone down to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do you know all it is with baking? Everybody says, oh, I can't bake. Everybody can bake. But they just, just, just got to give it a go. Yeah. It's just, you know what, follow the recipe. Yeah. And if you follow the recipe exactly as it is, you can't have a problem. Wrong. Can't go wrong. It's just that we don't follow the recipe. We no. miss this. <laughs> I think and that's my problem, and I think, oh, I know best. And yes. Just it all in, and I remember though. when I was a young girl, I used to just like, oh, I haven't got any scales. You know what? That's about <laughs> two ounces. <laughs> and with cake, you can't no. have just about. So you can see this very rough cake now. Yeah. Yeah. And then what we're going to do? I'll give you that out of the way. We're going to use posy. It doesn't matter where you put the nozzle. So Tom, can you see on that camera there? Yeah. So you must sit the nozzle on the cake, okay? So it must sit onto the cake. You must squeeze, come up, stop, relax. Squeeze up, relax. And we're just going to do these in clusters. Fantastic. Someone's asking, would you put in the fridge between coats? Nope. No, just leave it out. No. To be fair, you only need the one coat. Yeah. But I just coated this together in the room <coughs> last night. And can you see those two tones coming out now, this lovely green and pink together? I think it just makes it really it pop. Looks fantastic. Doesn't it? Yeah. 
So you'd use the colour that for the base and that's on the outside, or it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I always use small piping bags either. Don't get fooled into buying those big giant piping mm -hmm. bags because the buttercream needs to be a medium consistency, and if you overfill you'll end up squeezing and it'll all come out the top of the bag. That's so just keep idea. refilling this and yeah. you've got plenty to keep yeah. refilling with. So I hope. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't sound confident there and neither do I. <laughs> so hopefully we will have a lot. We might just have to do the top of the cake. But anyhow, let's see. And it's the same principle no matter where you go on the cake. Can you all see that clear mm. enough? Yeah. Now, when you get to the bottom of your bag, there's quite a lot left in there, so you have to get it squeezed now, so it's like an injection. Yeah. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see that on there, Tom? With us? Are you interested in cake, Tom? <laughs> Are you like my husband, not interested? <laughs> he goes, Carol, do I ask you to watch football? <laughs> I'm sure we enjoy these things afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The boys in the warehouse do. Right, okay. Always have a damp cloth and don't use your dish cloth. Always have one that's just for you and your baking. So you'll see that we've just randomly put those around. Now the next nozzle that we're going to use at Hobby Craft Stock is the carnation. It's really pretty flower, this one. So we're just going to squeeze and again randomly go where you can. We've got a couple of technical issues from the Hobbycraft account, but yeah. I think we're still live on sugar and crumbs. We are still okay. live on sugar and crumbs. So, do you want to reset? So, yeah. For anyone who's with us from sugar and crumbs, we're just going to take a couple of minutes pause while Hobbycraft um, read well, we their system. Talking, yeah, we'll keep talking, actually. Pause, can't. Yeah, they set up and they can let us know when they're live yeah. again. Absolutely. So, do you want to shout out some questions there? Isn't that so good, yeah. Gemma, that it works like that? <laughs> so, because we can share ours on your page. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to shout out any questions, Laura? Um, we haven't really got any questions. I think there was a couple um oh well samantha watts has just said it's like trying to get the last of the toothpaste out of the tube yes right. <laughs> when you get to the end of the buttercream in the bag she's a girl after me <laughs> exactly um, yeah so we've got lots of, of regular uh, you know viewers with us today um for anybody who's new um, this is our usual Facebook live feed at 11 o'clock on a Thursday. Um, it's normally from the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, um, but today we took a trip to Hobbycraft HQ um, and we are streaming, uh, we will be back streaming on their live very shortly. Um, so for anybody who's new, um, we're Sugar and Crumbs and we also do a new, another Facebook live on a Monday evening at 8pm. Um, today we are using the Nifty Nozzles range. Um, and the buttercream has been made up with the sugar and crumbs, natural flavoured icing sugar that's also in stock from Hobbycraft. Fantastic. And they are two for four pound at the moment, um, the icing sugar. So wow, shall I? Two for four pound. Oh, yeah. Wow. So. Okay, yeah. So let's tell you about the icing sugars while we're waiting. Yeah. Okay. And I'll go back to Hobbycrafters as soon yeah. as Tom comes live. So the icing sugars, we do do a promotion with Hobbycraft, okay? And I know some of you guys cheaper in Hobbycraft than on sugar <laughs> and crumb sites. That's because we have to do a deal with these guys. Okay. Um, how many flavours do you do? I think you're doing about nine flavours, yeah. isn't it? So nine or ten flavours Hobbycrafters do. They're doing an offer on at the moment the Great British Bake Off and the flavours are delicious. Uh, my own followers know they follow them, they use them. You can use them to make buttercream, Swiss meringue, you can make macarons, you can make cheesecake, you can put it in your cake mixture if you want to and I'll repeat this when we go online for these guys as well. So should I carry on just decorating this a bit just to yeah, speed up the yeah, process? That's fine. So, uh, so it's always nice as well and we'll talk about it when your guys come yeah. back as well to use different colours. Yeah. And one of the things I do like, are we live again, Tom? Not quite yet. Not yet. <laughs> so do you, sure you don't want to zoom into our blue <laughs> <laughs> So one of the things that I'm very keen on when you're using the nozzles is some of you go very ha heavy handed on colour. Okay, and I use a range called Colour Splash Range. Yeah. Are we live again? Mm -hmm. Right, so Hobby Crafters, Hello. we're back. Welcome back. Sorry, we had some technical issues. So I'll wait for you all to log back on. Um, but we are back um, with Carol from Sugar and Crumbs, if you're the new people are coming on as well. Um, and we will just get back to what we were doing, and we're just decorating a dome cake. Yes, we are. A large dome cake. Yeah. It's going to be a bigger than this one. <laughs> so, I just have to hope I've got enough buttercream. So I'm going to concentrate on the top in a minute, and then we'll go down the Perfect. sides afterwards. Um, so I was just saying, 
that with the um, icing sugar, we use, we're using the flavoured icing sugars today. So guys, if you buy sugar and crumbs flavoured icing sugars, they're on offer in um, Hobby Craft at the moment. A two for four pound, they're online and in your local Hobby Craft store. So either pop in or pop onto our website and make the most of that offer because it's only on for limited time. Yes, because we only do deals every now and again. <laughs> okay, um, so um, they've got a great range. They've got 10 flavours. If you've not used the flavours before, they're not just for making buttercream. You can make cheesecake, you can make macarons. We have a recipe website on the back. Do you want to pass this back, Gemma? Yeah. So on the back is a little recipe website and there it tells you to go over there and it's called sugar and crumbs mix it up .com. and all you have to do is go over there and it shows you how to use these map smashing flavours. They are intense in flavour, okay? So you can use them the full pack, one packet with one slab of butter, 250 grams. Some people think that's a bit strong, so they dilute it. So what they do then is, is that they'll use a bag of icing sugar, a 500 gram plain I, of, I, of plain icing sugar, and double up the butter, of course, uh, 500 grams of butter, and then they'll make it, you know, make it then, and that gives you a, a milder taste, which some people prefer. Um, you can also, we make them strong so that you can bake. I'm not sure whether you guys know, but it doesn't actually matter which flavouring you use. As soon as you put it in the oven, you'll lose 50% of the flavour. Yeah. And this is why we make ours intense yeah. in flavour. So, because we're hoping you're still going to get it when you bake it. <laughs> so, we're using the Carnation Nifty Nozzle at the moment. So, they, they when I call them names, we just had to, we designed loads of little um flowers with me and my business partner in russia that's why they're called russian pipe and tips and these are genuine ones they don't always look like the flower we've said but we just had to give them a name yeah so i didn't really want to call them one to five hundred i thought it was just best to come more nice little name so this one is the carnation it's a bit more square this one and i was just saying to my guys over snc um there on the snc page when you are using the nozzles Trying, try not to use too many colours. You know, try, like I've just used the colour splash range there. Do you want yes. to just grab me those? So I've used the colour splash range here. And today I've used the pinks and the, and the one of the greens. Oh. So if you were using colours today, um, the pink that I'm using, and I think you've got it there. That's one? The pink, the yeah. lighter one. Oh, the dark pink. Yeah. Yeah. This one here, all I've done is in one bowl I've put a tiny drop. The next one I put a deeper drop and the next one I put a deeper drop and then I've used green for the leaf and you can do that in various stages and that's all you need just to, to oh, choose two yeah. colours. I find that some people go a bit heavy and they get really excited about making this stuff and before you know it they've got bright orange, a luminous yellow, bright pink and then they try and make flowers and it doesn't look right. So try to keep it, there's a saying called less is more Yes. and it really is take it on board less is more let's go nice and light so i'm going to use up each bag full of color so um can you see on this camera here so we're just going to carry on sorry yeah that's fine i never thought to bring a turntable it would have been a good idea wouldn't it so then we do the injection mold bit on the last bit so straight onto the cake squeeze and you must always touch the cake as well when you're putting your nozzle on. So many people dangle it over the cake and I'll show you a bit close afterwards. They dangle it on top of the cake and they're like that, looking for the flower to pop out. Well, it won't. So the one that we're gonna use here now is a rose nozzle and it's beauty, it's 102 and it's a lovely flower. So let's just watch this one pop out. So again, straight onto the cake and it's nice to do the clusters so Laura's just pushing Maria out of the way again. <laughs> she does have a tendency of getting in the way, don't you, Maria, love? <laughs> eh? Everybody wants to know what jumper you're wearing today. So we take the mickey out of Maria because she's from Spain. She hasn't climatised to our weather yet, even though we've had the most amazing summer. Maria has still been wearing a jumper. <laughs> so it seems to be the joke on our group there. So can you see how this pink's popping off there? So this is the beauty rose. So just again, all you're doing... So you see why you don't need to. Are you okay, guys? Yeah. Yeah. We are live. I just can't see the questions, so right. we'll okay. go back later this afternoon and answer those for you. I oh, think so you'll be doing the I same as us. We do have um, a couple of our regular sugar and crumbs oh. viewers on the hobby craft oh, okay. feed, and yeah. Um, yeah, so Kat Riley's <laughs> headed over there, <laughs> and Nikki Shevlin's headed over for us. So Good uh, girl. hopefully, a couple of the questions <laughs> <Welcome>. <laughs> will be monitored. <laughs> 
our team are quite funny, you know, they, they've got their iPads and their phones going and they'll be answering their questions. They'll be asking questions on one way, they yeah. watch the live stream on another. <laughs> so let me just turn that round there so I can get that in. So sorry, because I've just realised that you guys, I was, I was doing it then without you being able to see. So I will refill a couple of bags in a minute. So can you see how this is all pulling together? What do you think, Gemma? It looks fantastic. I really like how you use the different tips to be able to get those different effects. Yeah, it looks really lovely. And, and to be fair, you know, like people say, well, what tip do you want? And you could do this with just the same tip, yeah. just done in different colors. So if yeah. you bought five nozzles exactly the same, you know, just, just, just color them all up yeah. different. So we'll just keep so guys are you liking this so far i am going to quickly decorate a cupcake for you as well and i am going to have to refill my bags in a minute hopefully i've got enough buttercream we were panicking i did send Gemma to the shop last night for more butter <laughs> more buttercream so i am using about two kilos of buttercream on this cake Let's just see. And is that how much you'd recommend for a typical yeah. size? For a big cake, yeah. Like this. I mean, this is a huge yeah. cake, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, if you can do see it smaller. So, I think we've got round the dome okay there, haven't we? Yeah. So, we might be able to, we might go down the sides in a bit. We'll see how we are. Fantastic. We'll do the injection bit again. So, it's all pulling together. And if you do have a go yourself, send us some pictures. We'd love yeah. to see um, your own creations as well. Absolutely. We do have a Bake of the Month competition at the, going on at the moment as well on the Hobbycraft blog. So if you've got your fantastic bakes, pop over to blog.hobbycraft.co.uk um, and enter your picture into our gallery and you could be in with a chance to win a baking bundle. Right, so I'll fill up some more nozzles in a minute. Fantastic. So don't worry. So we'll fill up some more in a minute. So I've got a little filler nozzle here, which is really very, very handy. It's a Wilton 224, I believe you stock it as yeah. well, don't you? Hope so, I did check with Hobbycraft <laughs> that they did. Um, this is a great little filler, because you do get little gaps, okay? And I don't know, Tom, what you can see. I keep moving out, are we in your camera there? <laughs> so this one's great for just filling in those odd little gaps. So let me just go around here. Are you okay, Gemma? Do you need to yeah, ask anything? Have we fine. got a signal? We are. We've gone on to Knitcraft, which is our our oh. our knit part of our brand. Um, so if you are on Knitcraft and wondering why we're talking about baking, <laughs> it's because we're supposed to be on Hobbycraft, but we're going to stick with it. We are going to stick with it, and we'll repost on Hobbycraft later on this afternoon. So to all those knitters out there, hi, why don't you have a good baking. <laughs> <laughs> hi. <laughs> so. This is all the fun about going live, it, isn't it, it Gemma? It really and I think is. people love it when you go live because you just do not know what's going to happen. So, you know, a sugar crummers, we're still <laughs> together, guys. We are. <laughs> so, um, you'll see that I've just used this little drop flower just to fill in a few little gaps. And then I'm going to get the leaf that I two toned before, before for you. It's the Wilson 352. And this will just pull it together and all we're going to do is we're going to just randomly pop some leaves in i hope you've enjoyed this demo i'm going to show you a close-up on a cupcake in a minute and it just shows you how quickly so do you see why you didn't need to do that really fancy yes. crumb coat yeah because you're literally going to fill all the just going to fill it all up aren't we just see that I'm just gonna pop you do make it look very easy it is <laughs> it is easy I don't know what you why you all make it all hard work <laughs> you lot it's called user error <laughs> my audience do know my sense of humor if you have a couple of don't know my sense of humor you'll learn it now but um you know it's like everything it's supposed it's easy when you know how but what I will tell you the secret is the consistency of the buttercream also the quality of the nozzle you've got to remember these are the genuine nozzles these have proper nice laser cuts so that your leaf flower will pop out it's not going to get all clogged up or the holes are not going to be too small that they can't physically get out so that looks beautiful that's good so far yeah, isn't it, it? Does. so let's pop this let's just i might not i'm not going to refill this actually so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do a couple of leaves from here 
and then I'll finish it after the live and we can post a picture afterwards because I just want to get on and do some cupcakes. Just a little bit. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> and you'll see that my little bag is um, dropping some of the stuff out and that's because the buttercream out. That's because I've burst a little hole in it. Right. So I think we'll just leave yeah. that for now and then I'll show you how to do a little cupcake together. Clean your board. Do you think you could do that, Gemma? Clean the board. No, not clean the board. Do you think you could decorate that cake? I think I could, you know. Could you give it a go? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have a gonna go. Give it a go. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so let's put that there and let's get one of my diet cakes. <laughs> diet cake? They always know I'm on a diet and fail miserably. So, it's like so, you've been on a diet. No, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to fill up one of the rose nozzles. I'm just going to show you how to make a bigger rose. They all look this one. So, so we're just going to refill this bag a minute. Yeah. And then I'm just going to show you how to make a bigger rose. Which everybody always really yeah. likes. It's another way to use the nifty nozzles. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to put a little line of colour. So on the bag there, guys, on the bag there. So we've got a 104 Wilton, which you guys sell yeah. as well. And we've got the piping bags. I like to use the seam of the bag as my guidance, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little line of color up that seam, and then we're gonna fill the rest in white. Yeah? Yeah. So, let me let that back. There we go, my lovely assistant. <laughs> so great, isn't it? Don't get this in the kitchen. I have to do everything by myself. You have to get one of your girls to come and do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? We never get an assistant, do I, guys? Okay. And then, so you now see we've got that pink seam up there. Are we on that camera, Tom? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to speak louder, Tom? So they can hear you. So we, uh, well, I don't know whether you can see my face. It's like really. Wet there, which is one second. It's so hot in here. How do you guys survive? <laughs> when it was the heat wave of the summer, it was roasting. There you go. Oh, sorry. Oh, Just throw a bit of buttercream <laughs> over the carpet there. So you'll see now on the bag, we've got pink there, yeah, and white. Don't worry about it being too much pink. That's not a problem at all. And then we're just going. You'll see the consistency of this buttercream now because. Just pass me this ball. Yeah. I'm just going to. So, so you can see on this camera, on this camera, the fl the consistency just needs to squeeze out. See how it squeezes out, yeah. squeeze out, and that's how you need it for. That's how soft it is for your yeah. piping tips. Let you put that in the pink. Get that back. And then, sorry need a bit for the crumb coat. So again, get your cupcake. Are we here? Is this where I should yeah. be? Yeah. So we're just going to crumb coat our diet cake. <laughs> <laughs> you should have saw what rubbish we ate in the car yesterday. I don't know why I brought <laughs> diet cakes with us. But one of our ladies made us some carrot cake and Ooh. brought it down. So we scuffed that in the car and crisp and oh, terrible we were. So we're just going to put the nozzle on the side of the cake, just off centre. So just so you guys can see closer there, you'll see that the nozzle is sitting on the cake, okay? Don't be dangling it, yeah? Sit it on the cake, squeeze, relax, let go. And you've got a rose. Have you got that, Tom? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? And then we are going to do a semicircle. Just easy, it doesn't have to be neat. And I start to shake because I get nervous when I'm close up with you guys. And in that semicircle there, we're going to go halfway across. I'm going to do another semicircle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this rose grows. So can you see that okay, Tom? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go around once. Then we're going to go around twice. And we just have to hope that because I've got this flower on sideways, this rose doesn't fall off the cake. <laughs> because I don't advise you guys to do it sideways. This is just, just so I can you. show it you. So that you can see how it's growing. Is it growing okay? Yeah. So you hold the top piping bag with the seam facing upwards. Yeah, so you have 
so that we know. Hold that, Gemma. Because it's a dummy, because it's a diet cake, <laughs> the weight of the flour tips it over. So when you are holding this nozzle, the wider end, the wider end must be at the bottom. So if you run that colour along the seam, just always remember your seam has to be at the top. So where that pink colour is and the thin end of your nozzle, and then the thicker end, if you think of a flower bud, a flower yeah. petal, the petal's thick at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Thin at the top. So let's carry on. Are you enjoying it all? Let's know what you think. Yeah. How are we doing knitters? Are we doing all right? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get back to the cakers, Tom, or are we still with the knitters? We're still with the knitters. <laughs> we were wondering why. <laughs> so anyhow, guys, so then when you do the last bit, you then start at the bottom and you lift up. You go underneath, start at the bottom, lift up. Am I low enough, Laura? Start at the bottom, lift up. And I just have this little rhyme. I keep saying it to myself all the time. <laughs> And this is so easy to do, this flower. It looks fantastic. There you go. So you've got the big brilliant. flower. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to put some roses in there. And then we'll get our leaf. And we're just going to do a nice leaf there. Just a little one here. And then we're just going to go put a big bad boy up here. And there you go, a little cupcake bouquet, Brilliant. made with the Russian vibe, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Yeah, good. I hope you've all enjoyed um, the Facebook Live this morning. Thank you for the Sugar and Crumbs fans for coming over to say hello, and thank you for the Hobbycraft and Knitcraft fans as well. We've had a fantastic morning, and it's been fantastic. Thank you so much, Carol, for showing us how you can make that. It looks fantastic, and it's so, it looks so easy. Brilliant, good. Yeah. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good. But well, we've enjoyed it too. I'm going to finish this cake so then afterwards they can take a picture and post yes. it on their page. But we'll bore it well with you now. Thank you, hobby crafters, for joining us in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll get back over to cake. We will. <laughs> okay. And thank you, you guys. I know it's a really short session, but really pleased that you joined us today. And we will see you on Monday. Thank you very much, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.